Hey guys, welcome back to Miss T's Doll Room, and today we are going to take a look at Sovereign Adele Makita. She was the 2021 Obsession Fashion Royalty Convention centerpiece for the final gala night. So let's get her out of the box and take a closer look at her. All right, so let's talk about this box. Love the quilted-like design of this purple box. Has Obsession Event Exclusive Fashion Doll on the side. And on the top of the box. Go ahead and open this up. She's beautiful. Just from the picture, she was one of my most anticipated purchases from the convention. And here's my doll. Okay, guys. So here she is in all of her glory. This is Sovereign Adele and... The black jacket with the uneven hem and tail has a military-like styling with the gold embroidery and some gold beading on it. And she has a beautiful tawny, I would call it like a, almost a shimmery pale gold buff colored long gown with slits on the, in the back. A friend of mine described her as Beyonce meets Bridgerton. I think that was a very apropos name for this doll love her hair love the curly updo and i love the sun kissed skin tone she is an addition size of 1300 dolls for this uh 2021 obsession convention and let's see her hair color is called golden blonde so I wanted to give you guys a look at her while she's still in the box. Here's a close-up look of her gorgeous face. Her eyelashes are perfect. Love her lip color. I just think everything about her face up is just beautiful. This is going to be a great doll to redress in other fashions. But I kind of like the fashion that she's in. I'm not so crazy about the uneven hem. But, um... Altogether, I think she was one of the very best dolls that this particular convention has to offer. So let's get her out of the box and take a closer look at her. Okay, so I have her out of the box. This is Sovereign Adele, and I have number 1,115 out of 1,300 dolls. Okay, let's talk about the stand. Look at the etching in the stand. I think these stands are going to be quite popular with collectors. I use these stands for my gown dolls that I put in my detox cabinet and they are so pretty. I really appreciate the attention to detail that was put into these stands. So I know that um, I'll try to use these stands and try, probably try to find more. Really love the detail on that. Alright, I want to show you the back of her fashion. So this is the asymmetrical hem on the back of the jacket. I would have preferred that both sides be long. I think that would have been nice to have split up the back with the both sides long. But, you know, it is what it is. It's not like a lot of our input is, is taken to heart these days. But um, it fastens up the back, has these little hooks and eyes up the back. For you to put it on. Okay, so she comes with an extra pair of curved hands so she can carry her little purse. These are her shoes. I like the detail on her shoes. And we'll get them out of the package for you to take a look. I really like these a lot better than I did in the picture. So let me show you these shoes. Very nice. Love that. Sling back. Love the gold strap. Stiletto. Beautiful. Love those shoes. Very versatile. Then she comes with a pair of black gloved hands. I almost never put these gloved hands on my doll. And this is her purse. Let me get that out. Hangs by gold chain. Has a little black tassel there. It's almost like a little drawstring puffy bag. That's what it looks like. It's very cute. I 
and then we have her jewelry love these black these gold cuffs with the little enamel drops inside of it that's what it looks like little cabochons love the jewelry she has this little pin ornament that's meant to go at the top of her hair and a pair of earrings so let's get her put together and we're going to take a, another look at her once I have her all accessorized and everything and we'll put her on a stand now I wanted to show you guys her hands her hands her nails are painted like a gold taupe looking color very neutral I like that get her shoes on thank God they weren't hard to get on they gave us a little break from the shoe trials now this shoe is very loose I will say that the little strap on it is very loose it's not fitting her heel at all so they cut the strap too loose on this particular shoe Y'all can see the gap in it. This one is kind of snug. It stays on. This one does not. So we'll have to make sure I use some glue dots on the bottom of her feet to keep that shoe on. Else it will be lost. And I wanted to show you the back of her gown. I love the material. Such a beautiful face. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to get these gloved hands on her. Okay guys, so here she is on the stand, and according to her description, she's supposed to have military styling, and she was designed by Jesse Ayala, but I don't really see military so much as I see more of a nod to Bridgerton and Beyonce, like my friend coined that phrase for her when she first saw her, but she is a gorgeous doll, and I think out of everything that was offered she is my number one favorite from the convention overall my second would probably be Belle Marais Poppy the wedding Poppy I think she's gorgeous she's my second favorite and that video will be coming up next but I want to give you a look at Adele Sovereign Adele fully dressed on her beautiful crystal looking stand it's clear lucite but it looks like crystal almost with with the diamond etching pattern on it just beautiful okay and here she is without the jacket love the plush feel of the material and here she is from the side love those little straps there on the side And it has snaps and hooks down the back to fasten. And she has a slit in the back. Love the gown itself. And her shoes. And look at that gorgeous, gorgeous face. Oh my God. Can't wait to redress this doll. Okay, and I just wanted to show you what the jacket looked like open. And here's the hook and eyes on the back to close it up. And then this is the front. And the sleeves are wide enough where I did not have to take off her gloves and hands in order to get the jacket off. Or the overcoat, if you will. 
It's beautiful. Can you see the little beading and everything on it? I have some little flyaway tendrils, but they're not that bad. They can be tamed, or I can tuck them into the updo. Love her beautiful face and makeup. I just think she's so sultry looking, but she's not so made up that you can't redress her. She's going to redress beautifully. Love the cut and the fit of the gown and the plush material. Love the black and gold color scheme. I'm obsessed with the stand. And her shoes are gorgeous as well. Love all of the gold jewelry with the black enamel accents to it. The purse with the tassel. The extra hands. The long nail manicure in that tawny gold color. And love the Bridgerton military inspired over jacket or overcoat if you will. Love the beading on it. So all in all, she was my number one favorite from the 2021 convention. I'm so happy I got her. So this wraps up my video. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, then please subscribe. And don't forget to check out my links in the description box to my Amazon list, 3D Miniatures, and our website where we do have some of the dolls from the 2021 convention for sale. And we'll see you back in the next video. Bye.